Today's art lesson is about hedgehogs. Before we jump into our art lesson today, I thought it would be fun to learn some fun facts about hedgehogs. A group of hedgehogs is called an array. Wait, isn't that a math term? Hedgehogs are shy and they mainly live alone. They also curl up into a ball to protect themselves from predators. The lifespan of a hedgehog is four to seven years and there are 17 species of them, none of which are native to the United States. Did you know that hedgehogs have between 5,000 and 7,000 quills on their body? But they're not barbed or poisonous, so that's a good thing. Pig-like grunts and poor eyesight are both characteristics of a hedgehog. The poor eyesight that they have makes them rely on their sense of smell and taste and hearing more than any other. And their name, hedgehog, I think that's fitting if they make pig-like grunts. Here's a crazy fact about hedgehogs. Did you know that in some states it's illegal to own a hedgehog as a pet? Now in our state, Washington, you can own one, but in states like California, Arizona, Hawaii, and New York, they are banned. Here's what you need to make this adorable hedgehog piece of art today. You need a white piece of paper, a pencil, a black marker or a black colored pencil, and then something to color with. Markers, crayons, or colored pencils work best. Go gather your materials and meet me back here. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to create this um, picture today that you see here with some hedgehogs and then some mushrooms. And um, all you really need today is a white piece of paper, which you see here. And we are going to start with a pencil. And then we're also going to need either a black or a brown colored pencil or a marker. If you don't have a marker, don't get up and go get one. Just use um, a black or a brown colored pencil or crayon. Either one works or it could be a marker. So uh, we are going, I'm gonna leave my little picture here to peek out over here to the side. I'm gonna be starting with my pencil and I want you to know that all of our pencil marks today are gonna be covered up with the black or the dark brown. So, um, Let's go ahead and start up in this corner. And we, I'm gonna have to draw a little darker because, or else you won't be able to see it, but I would suggest any mark that you're drawing with your pencil today, that you're just really, really lightly touching your paper. Don't press really, really, really hard or else you're gonna have a hard time either erasing or getting this to cover it up. So here we go. I'm gonna start right about up here and we're gonna be doing, let me show you, we're gonna be doing this part of our hedgehog first. So we're gonna go here and here, okay? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make a kind of a, a little loop there, a little lump or a curved line. I'll zoom in for you. And then I'm gonna go like this. And that's gonna be where our hedgehog's nose is going to be. And you're doing absolutely fantastic. Now, we are going to start and we're gonna go here and we're gonna do the hedgehog's belly next, okay? Now remember, you're drawing lightly. I have to draw a little bit darker than you. So that's gonna be hedgehog's belly. And then I'm gonna kinda of go over and that's gonna be the bottom where we're gonna add his feet in a moment. Now, the next area where I'm gonna be working is going to be right in here and then like the quills that you're gonna see that are gonna pop up. And when I do this section here and here, and then along the back, I'm gonna, I really wanna draw this um, lightly, or you can even jump to using your black, whichever one works better for you, okay? So this next part here, I'm gonna go up and around, and I'm doing this lighter than I was because it's really important, this next part is that we don't, um, you don't want them to see this pencil line because we're gonna end up making this kind of floofy along the back side, okay? So I'm gonna go around, but we wanna, we wanna have kind of a guideline here. So you can kind of see that I very, very lightly did that in here, right? And then we're gonna do this part of our hedgehog on the inside, that's gonna be, and then along here, all right? 
All right. So um, we're doing a fantastic job here. I am going to now, we're going to add the little hand here. And then in here, we're going to add another one. We're going to add the little feet here, which are just kind of like little blocks that you see along the bottom. We're going to add a little smile here because hedgehogs are typically pretty happy little guys or girls. And I'm going to add a little line there for its eyebrow. And then we will end up doing a nose here. And then I'm going to switch over and I am going to move and use my black. And I am going, I'm, when I get to this part right here, I want you to watch, okay? I'm actually going to erase this part right here because I don't want that to be a part of my picture. So I'm going to erase that part, but I can still kind of see my little line along there. Can you kind of vaguely see it? And instead, I'm going to make just little black lines along there. Let me zoom in just a hair more for you guys. See this? Okay. So now I'm going, it's a little bit, there we go. That's a little bit easier to see. So now I'm going to kind of go along here. See how I did that? And you can add more or less. It's really up to you because it is your artwork. And then along the back here, what I want to do is I'm also going to do that erasing again. Okay? But I want to still be able to see my pencil line a little bit. Just me, not anyone else. So I'm going to kind of erase it so I can see. Just me. Okay, You might not be able to see it perfectly, but I can. And now I'm going to go and I'm going to make a bunch of lines that are kind of going, see how I'm doing that? It's kind of like the top of a triangle, but they're a little curved all the way until I get down. And if you want to turn your paper, if it's easier to turn it as you go, like I'm doing to get the same direction. And then all you have to do for the rest of your hedgehog today is you are going to outline this part. You're going to outline this. You're going to do his cute little eye, eyebrow, smiling face, little nose there, hand, hand, foot, foot. And then in here, you want to add some of those quills. I don't think we want to add five to seven thousand. That might be a little bit overkill, um, but you want to add some in here. And now we have our first hedgehog. Now we will color these when we're done, but as you see, what I'm going to do is I am going to make some more hedgehogs. Some of them are going to be teeny tiny. Some of them are going to be really big. And if you look at their faces, they're all just a hair different, aren't they? Because we're a little bit different as well. This one has kind of a pointier nose. Um, you go ahead and work on your hedgehogs. I'm going to work on mine. And if you get stuck along the way, you can, um, you can rewind the video if you need to and watch this first one that I did again if you need to. And you do not have to put your hedgehogs where it, in the exact places that I did. It's totally up to you. But I would suggest at least doing um, four, maybe five, because the more that you create something in a repetitive way, which means like you did this one and then this one and then this one, you do them in a row like that, that's the, the easiest way for you to become more of an expert at something and it will be ingrained in your brain. So let's go ahead, let's get started and let's draw our hedgehogs.
have your adorable hedgehogs. And now we are going to add those cute mushrooms to go along with them. And we're just gonna fit a few mushrooms in where we can. If you don't have much space left, then you won't be able to do as many mushrooms. If you have a ton of space left, then you maybe can do a whole bunch of mushrooms. Now, the colors that you choose today when we're done with our mushrooms are totally up to you. In fact, you could even change up the colors of your hedgehogs if you want and make them abstract hedgehogs. It's really your choice. So let's move in and let's add in a few mushrooms. Let me show you how to make them. We're gonna start with the stem. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys so you can see. I'm gonna do one right in here. We're gonna start with our stem and it's very simple. We're gonna kinda, and we don't wanna make them perfect. So I'm just gonna make a, a shape something like, like that, all right? And then I am going to, we're gonna go and make kind of an umbrella shape over there. And then we're gonna round it, okay? And we're gonna bring it right over the top and round it over on this side. And then to give the mushroom some depth, we're gonna go along here and we're gonna add in the bottom part of the mushroom. And then with my black, or remember you can use a crayon or a colored pencil as well, you wanna outline it all. I'm just gonna go right over the top here of my pencil marks. All right, and then in here, right in here, this part area that you see, I'm gonna start and I'm gonna make some lines like that. And it will make it look like the under part of a mushroom. You know what I mean? Like the little lines on there and you can add as many or as few as you want. And then all you have to do is add your spots to make it look like a true mushroom or a cartoony mushroom as few or as little as you want. And voila, that's how you make a mushroom. So now take a little time, add as many or as few mushrooms as you want, and then we're gonna take some time and color. Go for it.
sure hope you enjoyed our lesson. Now, get out there and maybe not look for hedgehogs, but maybe you could go teach someone how to draw one. Bye!